Nigel, what did you make of today? Yeah, another good workout for us. Obviously, um, we had lads played 75 minutes. Another 10 outfield players have played 15, extra time 20 minutes. Um, disappointed to concede the goal in the last kick of the game. Obviously, things we talk about were maybe defensive third throws. You don't play the ball inside and they go and score from that. So that, that was annoying. Could have scored some goals, could have conceded some goals. Game was very, very open at times. Um, levels of fitness are good, we, uh, we can see that. Some new players obviously being integrated into the team, which is important, uh, getting to know each other. Um, lots to work on, as we all know, but we, we know that at this stage of the uh, pre-season. Uh, I keep talking about, it's not about the results, it's the things that we know, the process that we're looking at, uh, things that we need to do better at, uh, and some things that we're good. I said we could have scored some good goals, gave the ball away far too cheaply, especially in the attacking third of the pitch. Um, which we need to go and improve on, especially if we're going to build to get the ball into that area. Um, and then we need to be ruthless when the opportunities come. Eric, thanks very much for your time. First time I've had the opportunity to speak to you. What's, what have you made of today's game? Well, it was a really tough game. Uh, I'm not happy with uh, my personal performance, but um, it's a uh, preseason, so that's, that's a positive. Uh, we got 75 minutes under about a lot of the guys, so it's um, uh, a step in the right direction in that bit, but uh, the quality on the pitch needs to get a bit better and we still got uh, two weeks before the season starts, so uh, all of us know that in the dressing room, so we'll be working on that in the next two weeks. Yeah. Is that just a case though, of maybe a bit of classic pre-season rustiness coming back off a few weeks away, time to recharge the batteries and then get back into it? Yeah, it's been a tough pre-season so far, so maybe uh, for myself, maybe I, I just wasn't on my game and I, I, I personally need to get better, but uh, uh, everyone knows that. Uh, we, we could show a lot more and, and do a lot more in game. So uh, next two weeks, uh, I'm sure everyone will be uh, working a little bit harder uh, to get ourselves ready. Yeah, we've got a good test coming up on Tuesday as well. Newcastle United coming to the KCOM. Yeah, I've never never been uh, in the home dressing room, so I'm looking forward uh, to, to seeing it and uh, I'm looking forward to playing uh, my first home game there. Yeah, and from a perspective now, now you've had a couple of weeks here at the club, what have you made of everything in behind the scenes? Uh, everything's good. Everyone's... Uh, Super, super good to me, super cool. So uh, I'm just uh, looking forward to working hard for everybody. And uh, it, it, everyone just, I've just had a really good impression about the whole city and, and the, the setup and everything, all the staff and all the players. So I'm looking forward to the season to start. This is what it's all about. As I said, it's, uh, it's working on, on things. And on the back of doing something, I having a game, then we can actually work on it on the training ground, uh, in, in the video room, conversations that we have, looking to improve on we want a progression and looking to improve all the time. Uh, what we've got now is another game on Tuesday night against um, Newcastle, which will be good. Um, we'll have another game on Wednesday, obviously trying to get all the lads up to a level of fitness game time. Uh, but likewise, we need to bring some more players in. That's evident. Yeah. And going into that Newcastle game, how satisfied are you with the current levels of fitness within the team? Yeah, well, fitness-wise, we're good. We're in, we're in good nick. Uh, from that point of view, shame we didn't have uh, Jared Bone playing today. So say we played Lincoln midweek and he got a nasty kick on his foot, which ruled him out for today. Probably will rule him out at Newcastle, which will be a shame. And yep. uh, we'll see how we go for the Barnsley game. But he's looking in great nick. Um, John Terrell got a little, just feeling a little niggle, so we haven't risked him. We'll just see how he goes through the course of the week. The big blow is Andre Mazuc. Um, he injured his knee the first game in Portugal. And he, he trained, he had a good couple of weeks training. He just stretched for the ball, landed very awkwardly. Um, we were hoping his knee would have settled down, but we've had further investigation. So, uh, unfortunately for Andre and ourselves, he's going to miss the start of the season, maybe a couple of weeks. Can't put a time frame on it, but um, we just got to go through that process. So, you, you feel for the big man because obviously he's missed all the last season, or a lot of last season. Yeah, but all these new players that we've brought in are all defence. It's a chance for them to wear the shirt and a chance for them to prove that they should get in the first team. That's it. I mean, you look at, uh, I thought, Reese Burke and um, Jordi Devise today were very, very good. You know, they've settled in very well. They were excellent in midweek against Lincoln, a very physical uh, threat from Lincoln. Um, so again, new partnerships getting put together. Angus McDonald may be able to get some game time as well today as he's, uh, as he's building his fitness levels up, which is promising. And likewise, we've got young Adam Curry playing left side centre back and Ritson, you know, young Lewis Ritson's played right back today, although he's been playing centre half. And Robbie McKenzie's had to play in midfield. And, and today, obviously, Todd Kane's played right side of midfield in place of in front of um, Eric Lehigh. That's probably where Jared Bone will be operating. So uh, players may be out of position having to go and operate and play. But um, you know, I'm looking for that 20 players for the senior team and the, the 10 under 23s because we want a pathway for them. And you could see that today that there's some um, 
you know, we, we've got 10 of the 23s, under 23s, making up that first team squad at the moment. So we've got players, we need to, we need to, to bring some more players in. Uh, and all being well, we'll do that before the, the window shuts. And then obviously the loan window uh, at the end of August.